All right, all right. Okay, so this is the cereal box I'm using. So I'm talking about the cereal box project that is assigned for uh, Wednesday, and it's called Finding Surface Area. So that's what we're doing. So I have one of my faves, Book of Charms. So the best way to do this, any kind of cereal box. So what you want to do is you want to find the seam. So my seam is here where all the nutrition facts are. So I'm going to find the seam, and I'm just going to carefully tear it open where the seam is. Okay? And then, and then there's another one on the bottom. I'm going to carefully tear that seam. I like your ripping out eggs, and dig it really carefully. And then you have this here. Okay, so you'll have the big space of the of your cereal box. So now the best thing to do is to have a ruler and a marker. Oh, I'm that marker somewhere. But of course I lost it. So uh, so what you want to do is you're going to measure each area, okay? And because we're doing the surface area, remember, okay, there's only six sides. It's going to look like there's more, but there's only six. You see, these overlap, right? So you got down here on the bottom, right? So when I put it back together, you can only see the red, right? Remember, we tore it off, and it's only the red. So you only have to do the red, not, not the white, okay? On the top, we'll just do that times two. And this one is like a half, right? It's only this, this the ingredient side, nutrition side. So this one's really short. So you can just do that one on that side. And you have your six, okay? So I would take uh, your ruler, Measure the easy ones, so I've got this here. I have it, I'm gonna measure it to the nearest half inch. Okay, so I have seven and a half from here to here, seven and a half. Okay, seven and a half. Measure top to bottom. I've got 11 and a half, 11 and a half, okay. and then I can find the area of this, and then I'll know the area of this, okay. and I'm going to do this here, and then this here, and they are going to be the same on both sides, so this one I could actually do it times times two, right? So this would be one and a half. We'll just call that an even two. And another 11 and a half. So I've got two inches and another 11 and a half. And then the last one would be the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna do the red Lucky Charms. It really doesn't matter, but I'm still gonna do the red one. So this here, go across, and then down. Okay. So that would be, again, about two. And then going across would be, looks like, is that seven and a half or eight? Uh, it's closer to seven and a half for sure. So that would be seven and a half. That's what I have there. So then I would take all of them and I would multiply my seven and a half times 11 and a half, right? I get that answer. This one here would be 11 and a half times two. I get that answer. And the one on the bottom, seven and a half times two. And I get that answer. And you get all those answers there and there. So I know this one's 15, this one's 23, and this one I actually have to do. So I've got 25, 35, 37, 7, not 5, 
zero, five, and seven. Again, zero, zero, five, and seven. Put it up. Five, two, carry the one. That'd be 10, 16, eight, maybe six, 25. So go get your decimals. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Am I done? Oh, right. So you gotta add all these up. So 86, 2500 plus 23 plus 15. Add them up. Put those decimals in place so I don't lose track. I got 25. Add these up. Nine. And five is 14, carry the one, eight, 10, 11, 12, 124, 25 inches squared. Label, label, label. All right, are we done? Not done yet. Nope, <laughs> not done yet. She knew it, not done yet. So we have to take all these, because this is only the three sides. That's only this, this, and this. We need six sides. Okay, so we gotta take all that and we gotta times it by two. Take all that, times it by two. We get it ten. Carry the one, five. Get right, five. And eight. And four. And two inches squared. Okay, so my total surface area of the box is 248 and a half inches squared. So total surface area is 248 and a half inches squared. All right, why is that important? Why do we need to know? All right, who would, who would want to know why we need to know the surface area of a box? Well, you see these down here? It's so cool, back in the day in college. I knew a guy that used to print these. He worked at a printing place. And he said all of these colors, there's a reason for all those colors. All of these colors on your boxes, you'll see them on every box, like food box. All these colors are the colors that are used for the cereal box, okay? Maybe more, maybe, they're never less, but there's always these colors, okay? So what they do is they need to know how much of each color they're gonna use. So they have to figure out how much of the surface area is so they know how much ink they're going to use to print the box because you know they got to print it. So anyway, that's how you do that. Okay. The surface area of a cereal box. So enjoy your project. If you have questions, email. Peace.